In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about PPC Ad Editor. I'm gonna talk about what it is, as well as share who it's best for, and also take you through the dashboard and show some use cases of it. Um, I've actually been invited by the founders of PPC Ad Editor to use their platform for the last month or so, so I'm pretty familiar with using it. Um, and it's not a sponsored video, but I just had a great uh, chance to use it and wanted to share it with my audience here. So let's go ahead and dive in. So in a nutshell, PBC Ad Editor is a ad generation tool that allows you to create creatives um, and different ad mockups so that you can see what your ads would look like out in the wild, as well as get your clients or stakeholders to review the ads and collaborate as well as give feedback. So it allows you to create, review, and approve of ads really fast, and it does integrate with ChatGPT4, um, so that's using and leveraging AI, which is all the rage right now. So they do have an option to help you write your ads as well as your descriptions. Um, so definitely something to look at, and we can talk about that a little bit further into the video, but just wanted to say that this platform was actually created originally to generate and create ad previews for Google Ads, but has yet expanded into Facebook, IG, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, and now TikTok. So that's really exciting. And if you are a media buyer, freelancer, uh, or if you work in-house in a marketing department and you churn out lots of creative and this and it tends to get needs to get lots of approval from clients and specific stakeholders, PBC ad editor is a great way to collaborate and get direct feedback and I'll show you exactly how that all works. But let's go ahead and just take you through the actual platform here. Um, you'll see here in this little snippet uh, GIF, you'll see that that um, you can see the headlines and descriptions that you can input as well as see what the ads would look like and share it with the actual decision maker. I'll take you through the platform in a minute and show you exactly how that all works, but just wanted to give you this quick overview. And then also share that they do have an option to generate Google search ad copy ideas using ChatGPT4, which I'd mentioned before, so that it can take already existing headlines that are already doing really well or could be improving and giving you ideas on what you can do to improve. Um, avoiding this like manual ad construction, you can really just save a lot of time and be super efficient with uh, the way that you come about writing ad copy. I know creative and ad copy when it comes to PPC is not everyone's favorite thing to do, but PPC ad editor does make it a lot simpler uh, so that you don't have to be uh, creating ads or even using ChatGPT as a separate tool, you can just go directly into this tool and use the integration that it has with ChatGPT so you don't have to log into two different platforms here per se. Um, something else here uh, helps clients review and approve of your ad mockups as well as keyword mockups faster. Imagine a scenario where, and you know this if you are a media buyer, you have a spreadsheet with your keywords and your ads and headlines, final URLs and so forth all in one place and you send it off to your client and your client's like, okay, I don't know what to do and how to like actually edit this or give you feedback because there's so many cells and I have a problem with all these different cells. I don't know how to give you the feedback. Well, in this tool, it makes it super easy for a client to log in and go line by line and give feedback. So I'll take you through that in a bit. Um, and yeah, another great advantage of the tool too is um, lots of times clients want to see what the ads would look like out in the wild. And unfortunately, sometimes if you don't fall within that specific audience targeting group, uh, when you set up the targeting, it's going to be hard for you to go find your ads and share with the clients what they would look like. Um, you can't see them until they're actually live. And on top of that, don't recommend to actually go look for your ads because that lowers your click through rate if you don't click on the ad. Um, but ultimately, what a lot of agencies, freelancers, um, and other uh, 
companies would do when they're trying to generate these mock-ups in the past before PPC ad editor, they would go to their Google ads agency reps and ask them for mock-ups. So that was back then, but now we have a tool that actually lets us see it without having to go to a third party and ask for mock-ups. And even then, you might not even have access to a third party to get you that. So this tool would allow you to do that without that extra work. And ultimately, this tool will save you lots of manual work and allows you for lots of collaboration. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you through the platform right now, take you right into the dashboard here. Um, all right, so once you log in here, you are going to see all the different channels that you will be able to create ad mockups for. Um, so you will see all the different ones. In this video, I'm just gonna show you Google AdWords. That's my bread and butter, but if you work on any of these other channels as a freelancer, copywriter, or um, a agency strategist, media buyer, or even in-house, and you work on any of these other uh, platforms, you can certainly create mockups uh, for them here as well. So here you would just select the Google ads or whatever channel you want. I'm going to go ahead and create ads. Um, you can either create a mockup for responsive search ads, responsive display and perf or performance max. Note that you can um, also, you can actually use this as your main workflow, instead of actually like building out the ads in a spreadsheet and uploading it in here, you can write, create all the ads within here and then from there invite your clients into this tool to give feedback and so forth. So there's, there's a couple different use cases and ways to go about using it. And then once you select the different ad format, uh, this, the ad format that you want, you could start from scratch, explore templates, use demo data, uh, import from a Google Ad Editor CSV file. You can download it from Google Ads. Um, so there is an integration here. The only thing that you can't do, um, and I've confirmed this, is you cannot upload into Google Ads, but you can download um, from Google Ads. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Or you can use a bulk sheet um, here. And then also use of AI. So they have an Ad Improver, Ad Intel, Ad Accelerator so that you can leverage chat GPT-4 to help look at uh, your competitors, uh, also um, look at headlines and descriptions, give you suggestions for improving on that front. Um, and yeah, I think that that's it in terms of the data source. And now I wanna show you the preview here. I'm gonna take you into my RSA preview so that you could see what it would look like if you were actually in the workflow and how it would all work. So here you'll see that I already have a, ca a campaign built out here for a co-working space. I've got my site links, my callouts, my structure snippets, my call assets, and then I have the ads. So I've already written the ads, I just wrote one ad here, and then they've given me all the different variations, the different ways that it would serve, because as you know, uh, with responsive search ads, there's so many ways, so many variations that it could show. You can show up to seven within here. Um, so sometimes clients wanna see different variations. They wanna see screenshots. So this is a great way to go about showing it to them. You can view what it would look like on mobile as well as desktop. So here would be mobile, here would be desktop. And then I th what would be the great benefit of this after you already build out your campaigns um, and your ads, uh, you can also put in your keywords so that your client can then go in and see what keywords would align with the ads. Um, and then you can invite them, your client decision maker, uh, or stakeholder into this platform and invite them so and give them access to edit. And then from there, they can go in and edit, leave comments. Essentially, they would just go here to uh, hovering over the specific line item that they were looking to um, leave feedback on. Um, and then from there, they can leave a comment. So for here, I wanna leave a comment on headline two so I'm gonna go ahead and say warm and inviting. I'll just say, please capitalize or please add the geography or something like that. 
um, and you can click send and then it will send this comment to the person that to everyone that's in this uh, group uh, so that the editors can see and can make the direct edits and also can mark as resolved as different things are being resolved uh, based off of the client's feedback. So I'm sure as you're watching this video you're and you are a media buyer freelancer or some type of PPC manager, either in-house or at an agency, you could see how this could be useful if you're churning out lots of creative content that needs like very strict approval from clients. And then here there is an option to view all of your conversations. So you could just see all the different conversations um, and the feedback from the clients. So you can go one by one and see, okay, this client made this comment on this headline and I need to go make this edit. Um, or you can just give the client full access to make the direct edit um, and that would be no problem as well. Um, so that's the collaboration aspect of it. Now, once you're already done, and I'm going to resolve, um, once, once you're done with the actual like back and forth collaboration and you're ready to go, you have the campaign, you have the keywords, everything's been approved. What you can do because they don't have a way to upload it directly into Google ads quite yet. You would need to click share, uh, you, not share. You would need to click export uh, these, the three dot drop down, three dot drop down export. And then you would export it into Google ads editor format. Um, so this would be the way to go about exporting that data and then send and then uploading it into Google Ads Editor. So I'd say that if you are not familiar with Google Ads Editor, you should be somewhat familiar in order to leverage this if you want to use it for the uh, for the specific reason of download using this tool to write the ads in, then download it and then upload it into Google Ads. Um, or if you wanted to just strictly use this tool for feedback uh, for, for clients, that could also be another use case as well. So it's really up to you how you want to use it, but I'd say that if you want to use it for the, uh, to, get, to get feedback as well as upload it into Google Ads, you should have some familiarity with um, Google Ads Editor, um, which is not that difficult to learn, but definitely uh, something that would be required here. Um, and that's pretty much it for what I wanted to share with you on the dashboard itself. You can also upload a CSV file and um, so that you can build out the spreadsheet as if you typically would as a media buyer. Um, and instead of sending that directly to the client for feedback, you could build out that spreadsheet and upload it within PPC ad editor so that things are formatted in a way for the client to then be able to see um, the ad mockups and give direct feedback. Um, so that's pretty much it. You can also see here they've got a uh, they've got a way to contact support, really great support service. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, um, I'll go ahead and drop a link to PPC Ad Editor below in the description. Their starter plan um, for uh, the business plan is uh, starting at $99 a month. If you work, if you want to um, engage with them longer, they do have discounts depending on the different tiers. So you can go ahead and check it out and see if this would be a good solution for you. And like I said, if you are a media buyer or in-house um, media buyer, whether, um, yeah, you're a media buyer in-house or at an agency, this could be a really great tool um, if you're turning out lots of content. Um, and yeah, I will, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments below and I'll drop a link for you guys to check out PPC Ad Editor on your own and I'll see you guys in the next video.